Let's talk about blur in DaVinci Resolve. Most of you that make edits probably have blur that looks similar to the clips that are being shown on screen. But what if I told you there's a new free effect that completely changes the game? It's called Defocus It and it blows every single blur effect out the water. This is not an ad. I'm genuinely trying to put y'all onto some sauce. Let's get into it. In order to get the plugin, you have to go to the Resuck Less forum. I'm going to send a link to this page, but if you want to check out other plugins from Just Crop It, all you have to do is click on his profile and go to the topic section. Anyway, to download the Defocus It plugin, scroll all the way down and install the latest version 1.1. I've been using the 0.1 version for about like a couple of weeks and even that one's good and he improved it since then. So let's go through this plugin and see how amazing it is. So I have this Naruto clip here and this is what it looks like without any blur. And now I'm going to enable the Defocus It setting. Here's what you're met with. A default, you're on linear, very blur mode. If you want the full screen to instantly be covered, really quickly you can just switch it over to defocus and i'm gonna go over what these menus do first is this interesting menu called bloom bloom is something that is featured on the regular defocus node but it doesn't really have a lot of control with it the defocus it node gives you a little bit more control and you can even view what the bloom itself is doing so if i change the range you can see what parts of the scene that the bloom is affecting and the saturation and the strength of it another thing this macro offers is the ability to mask the bloom and you can put in your mask into the purple arrow it will mask the bloom or if i want it to be on naruto's head i can put it over here and this can allow for more stylized looks and more creativity which is very fun if i look at the mask layer and move the circle mask around you can see exactly what this bloom mask is doing next we have lens type you can change the type of bokeh that is added at the moment there isn't really a mode to put in a custom lens type. So hopefully that will be added in the future. And then you have this filter mode down here. This is pretty much switching the blur type from using the lens blur based tool set, which gives you all these lens types, which changes how the blur looks and how the bokeh is processed. And then you have Gaussian blur. And Gaussian blur is very basic. It just blurs everything. There's no real customizable aspects of Gaussian blur. I would keep this on lens blur if you want to use this for an edit. And then on the bottom, we have the focus its strength which is an overall strength for the whole blur so the next tab is very blur the top is the same you have your ratios on how the blur is dispersed free so you can have blur x and y gamma to control how the blur is dispersed you have the same bloom menu and then you have mode here so this mode tab here allows you to use gradient maps to modify how the blur is being translated onto the scene. So if I set it to external mode, I can get a depth map on the scene. So now if I wanted to do a simple depth blur effect, I don't have to go into the depth map settings and start changing the limits and the isolate specific that I don't need to change any of that. All I need to do is change the position slider right here and it does exactly what I want it to do. Great job on making this. This is such a time saver and if i wanted to check on what the position is actually doing i can click this focus check button you can position the focus to be exactly how you want and you don't have to get really close to your screen and do any guesswork you could just use this to your advantage if you click on view channel you can view your depth map and change it from here which is very very convenient i didn't even know you could do this so you don't even need to ai generate a depth map you can literally just use the paint node and do something quick like that set it to very blur and the mode on external then i get a paint node and connect that to the original media and set the stroke mode to stroke so it lasts for every single video frame basically what i'm going to do here everything that i want to be in focus will be white like this and then everything i want to be out of focus will be black like this and then everything else is going to get a nice bit of gray right so i'm just going to quickly take out the scene and you don't have to be exact and then connect the paint to the green input of defocus it and now i've kind of made a pseudo depth map and i noticed i made a little bit of an error right here the top of his head is like also blurry so all i have to do is just paint that in white and I can directly change the depth of my scene just using the paint node instead of using all the GPU power on AI generating a depth map. So that's something that you can try for your next edits. Next, we have the bokeh quality. So if you want it to be really high quality, you can set it to 10. But if you want like a quicker, faster render, I'd recommend just leaving it on the default setting of five. And then you have different methods. So you have the defocus, the multi-box method, and the softening method. I just leave this on defocus because it looks the best. If you want 
want to have a dynamic tilt shift blur, you can use the linear preset. If you want radio blur, just click on the radio preset. The position and gamma will affect all of these. These presets are very helpful. So if you want a really, really clean looking tilt shift blur looking effect, you set it to reflect and these lines are going to be controlling what is in and out of focus. And when you use any of these other mode presets, this offset handle appears. And what this does is change the size of the gradient map that you apply. So if I want it to be radial, it's all blurry here. But if I want to open up and expand, all I have to do is change the offset. And then I could go to focus check to see what's in focus. And that's pretty much what it's doing. And changing the gamma will change the fall off of how the blur works. So yeah. So give a big thanks to Just Crop It for making this amazing node. I really wish he worked at DaVinci Resolve because everybody needs to have a macro like this in their tool set. Anyway, guys, I'm Clout VFX. See you in the next one.